Muslim terrorist. Muslim terrorist. <laughs> Not really. Marcus Conti reporting. You guys think everybody in New York that's coming up behind you is somehow a terrorist? Or a or I was gonna he's gonna mug me. <laughs> Conti's gonna get mugged. Oh I gotta I gotta pull up my pants. Ah oh, damn before my pants fall down. Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Uh did I say that already? <laughs> ah, talk about some um, little top stories today. <clears throat> a little mu muse in the park. A little muse walking in the park. It's nice out. Damn, it's like 65, 68 degrees, sunny, blue skies in New York. <sighs> Good to be alive. Good to be alive. Nice crisp breeze. Sleep well because it's cold, cool. Not sweating your ass off. Eat a good meal. Go out for a little run. Ah, the finer things in life, right? It's not all about money, is it? It's not all about more, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. So, talk about um, some stuff in Hong Kong. Um, employees are, are getting banned uh, for protesting. They're getting fired. Uh, crazy shit. Um, some red flag laws flaring up in Connecticut. Um, wildfires. The wildfires. Let's talk a little bit more about that. An interesting story on the DNC. That they're so strapped for cash that they're going to Mexico. <laughs> uh, Mark Scott's reporting. We'll start with um, Hong Kong. So... Hong Kong is protesting. Seven million people in, in Hong Kong. They're protesting to uh, to squash an extradition bill that would make them uh, liable uh, to communist China law for simply speaking out or for simply protesting. Or it would make all these um, all this stuff illegal. Right? The things that the things that we take for you know tech, take as uh, second nature. Freedom of speech, freedom, you know, freedom to choose and all that stuff. Would get thrown out the door under communist Chinese rule in Hong Kong. I say, well, hasn't Hong Kong always been, you know, free or hasn't it always been China? No, actually it was ruled by the Brits. So long story short, in Hong Kong, um, companies, mostly at Cathay Pacific, uh, Mostly at Cathay companies fired employees, mostly at Cathay Pacific, for, for, for supporting, without explanation, the anti-extradition bill. <clears throat> wow. Now you say before you go, you know, oh shit, look at the communists, you know, cens censoring their people. But we have a brand of that too. Try to become, try to be an, uh, a New York City employee and have a political opinion. Try to have, try to, <clears throat> try to be a... Try to be an employee in a large corporation have a YouTube channel that speaks out against the government. <laughs> See how long you last. You won't get fired for that. You'll get fired for something else. Get fired for without explanation. Right? It's just that with, 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 on the communist rule, it's more in your face. You don't like it, pff, nothing you can do about it. right? But, but here we have a more subtle version of that. So it's it doesn't just to go back to Hong Kong. It doesn't it doesn't um, the Hong Kong people are right. The two million people out of seven and a half million people that are protesting peacefully. It only gets violent when the police jump in. Those people that are protesting peacefully are now getting fired from their positions. They're being um, they're being condemned by by Chinese law by Chinese pressure on the corporations and is the Hong Kong thing working is the, is the protest working to crash the economy yeah it is so since 2018 Q1 Hong Kong was already in a bear market right uh, down 20 percent since Q1 2008 All right, so I think we're in what Q, Q3 right now 2019 not 2008 2018 they're down 20% since Q1 2018. And now in 2019, I think we're in Q3, they're, they're going down, down, down. Why? Because people are pissed off, right? 
they're not getting what they want. Uh, they, they, they're getting, they're getting, they're getting, they're getting uh, pigeonholed into old-fashioned Chinese communism. So we salute you, Hong Kong people. Keep fighting. Keep fighting the good fight. Ah, what else? So uh, a, a rather ugly story. Now we, we talk about. I'm not, you know, a gunslinger or any of those things, but I do believe in the the right to uh, bear arms. And in our Second Amendment, we have that. We have freedom of speech, although some people these days believe that speech should be curbed, especially I'll talk about the LARPers at the end. There's a couple of them that believe that free speech, you're not allowed to speak. Who the hell do you think you are? You can speak. Ha! Fucking blah, 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 speak. Uh, but we do have free speech in this country, whether you like it or not, free press. Anybody could be the member of a pr anybody could be press. Anybody can declare themselves press and and enjoy those uh, protections. Right? So in Connecticut, a man uh, a man has firearms seized because of his son. Right? Red flag red flag laws. Right? Springing up, Trump loves these things. Uh, fucking crazies, right? Going after people. So. This guy has a racist bigot son. Racist bigot son, quote, I'm not saying it, that's just a quote out of Zero Hedge. And he's voicing his opinion on his Facebook page. His bigoted racist, his uh, pro, quote, nationalist, whatever fucking opinion you have. Who gives a shit? Who's even listening to the little fucking jerk off, right? Who cares? Right? But nonetheless, um, he, he was coined as crazy, crazy racist bigot and, and um, uh, exercising his rights. And the cop, cops came to his house and confiscated his father's weapons. Okay? So, guilt by association. A guy, a law-abiding citizen, all his guns are legal. He purchased them to protect himself. As it says in the Second Amendment, to protect oneself from tyranny really protect ourselves from a corrupt government to form militia and such hello dog hey doggy doggy got a visitor hi may I ah oh. hey doggy <laughs> okay. These dogs, they smell the cats on me. <laughs> like, hey, what's that fucking shit, man? What are you, cat, bro, cat guy? Fucking come on, man. Fucking, where's your love for dogs? You don't like dogs? <laughs> so, back to this crazy guy. Right, so, so crazy, um, crazy son. And so the cops knock the guy's door down and take the father's legally purchased guns away from him. And if the guy would have resisted, they, they come in the door shooting. They come in the door bla with guns blazing, these fucking cops, right? Heroic cops think they're doing the right thing, right? It's not right. Uh, these, these, these red flag laws are a violation of your, of your uh, Second Amendment rights. Calling you crazy because of your association with a crazy. Because the kid lives in the same, under the same roof. Right? What are you supposed to do? Throw, you're not allowed to have... I mean, it's just... Think about it. I mean, the, the, the logic behind... The logic behind a law like that, where someone's constitutional rights are revoked because of his association with a son who has opinions and has not broken any laws. There's no, there's no hate laws in this country. There's no anti-hate laws... We have freedom of speech, whether you like it or not. Whether you want to, you know, sue people to the to the to death for speaking in your face the truth because it offends you, because you're a snowflake and it, it ruffles your feathers. How dare you say that about me? I'm gonna sue you. That you have that that crowd of people. As we're seeing in the LARP wars, right? These guys are using like this kind of you know law law to, to attack people they're using lawyer they're using legal proceedings wasting you know wasting taxpayer money and time and resource and weaponizing 
weaponizing, you know, frivolous lawsuits to torture you, <laughs> pretending that you did something wrong. So the red flag laws, these are, these are non-Americans. These are unpatriotic uh, traitors to some degree that would betray their own, you know, free speech rights. And Trump is championing the red flag law, so you got to chuck him into that pile of traitors, right? So, we'll see what happens there. What else? Wildfires. Wildfires. I know this is not a very sexy subject because people believe that climate change is a hoax, but this is actually to your advantage. The people that believe that, that believe climate change isn't real or the, the wildfires are not sporadic at all that we're seeing all over the world. That it is, in fact, something more um, sinister, something more deliberate. It's still human activity. It's human ignorance that causes people to set places on fire and, and ultimately uh, denigrate the planet as a result of it. Right? It's, human, it's still human activity. Although it's not the, there's no direct correlation between this unbelievably large number spike in the amount of wildfires all over the world. Um, there's no correlation between that and climate change. Right? It's affecting climate change, but it's not being caused by climate change. You see the difference? Right? It doesn't mean that climate change is a hoax. It means that the statistics that we're getting on these wildfires is, is actually, it's, it's not the cause. It's not the effect. It's the cause. You follow? It's not being affected by climate change. It's contributing to it out of human ignorance. All right, so, um, again, so a lot of these fires, I'll just read off the statistics. Uh, Angola and and, and Congo, because they're in Africa, people say, ah, you know, they, they, don't even, they don't even fucking, you know, it's not even on the, the radar because it's Africa. But in South America and Brazil, we talked about that in the, in the uh, Amazon, there are currently 2,127 fires raging in Brazil right now. Now, people say, oh, those are fake numbers. Wait, hey, you can't prove it. Uh, they, they are, they're verifiable the best I can tell, verifiable through satellite imagery. In Angola, there's 6,902 fires raging right now. In the Congo, there's 3,395 fires raging right now. So you say, for example, in the Congo, why would you want to, why would people deliberately set fires and blow up their wildlife and their, their, um, you know, their, their reserves and their, you know, the wild animals running around, the beautiful climate. Because in the Congo, Congo is very, uh, um, it's very fine material. I forget the word, the, the um, rare earth minerals, rich. It's also rich in, in, in rather, um, you know, diamond, gold, silver. It's a very mineral rich, um, precious metal rich nation. So burn those fucking trees. They're in the way, man. They're fucking... How are you going to get in the ground with all these trees? Burn the motherfuckers down. And so there is a financial reason, a motive to set fires and have them spread. All right? It's a sick society is what we're talking about. We're talking about... We're talking about like, like real sociopathic mental illness in this country, uh, in this world. The greed is, is, is enough, like, because it... It doesn't affect me now. Fuck it. Burn this, burn this motherfucker down. Who needs all these trees? Let's um, let's uh, let's start a cattle farm. Let's uh, let's dig for for gold. Not. Right. <laughs> That's what we're up against. Right? It's, it's pretty crazy. So, one other story, and I'll, I'll talk about the LARPers. I think I already did, but got a little, little wink there. A little wink. I threw it in there. So you heard. So the DNC, I take a lot of shit for that, man. It's, it's not easy being Conti. <laughs> but that's expected, right? Because they're a bunch of savages, right? A bunch of, bunch of, bunch of hostile, hostile motherfuckers, right? Greed. 
They agree. They're 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 sick on they're they're strung out like junkies on power and attention, and how that how that could how that could uh, um, how that equates to money and pussy and food. Well, a dick, whatever they like. Uh, so, last story. So, DNC, Tom Perez. Right? DNC struggling, right? Why? Because they're corrupt liars, right? They, they stole the 2016 election from Bernie Sanders, handed it to Hillary Clinton in, in what was clear and convincing election rigging. Right? They got caught. WikiLeaks exposed them. We exposed them. Everybody exposed them. The exit polls were off. The, they shut down polling stations. They got caught... The, the, the exit polls were off more than 12, 15 percent. Right, that's in, in, if that happens in a foreign country, that's, um, that's grounds for disqualifying the election. That's a clear and convincing sign that the machines are rigged. But there was rigging all over the place. The collusion with the media, the DNC colluding with the media, laundering money back to Hillary Clinton, downplaying Bernie Sanders, his own party working against him, right? So they, the DNC is currently in a, in a money crunch <laughs> because they're cheaters, right? And um, I know it's only politics. Conti, you, got, you still believe. I'll t- touch on this. Conti, you believe in the right-left paradigm. You do because you want to see Bernie win, right? Yeah, you're for Bernie. You're a Bernie bro. You're fucking Bernie bro. <laughs> Uh, you, you, the, the right left paradigm you're fucking you're a commie <laughs> people say the stupidest things man, I'll tell you it's fucking funny man uh, but I I believe in I, as I said I've probably said 30 times the people that are new to the channel look and all they hear is Bernie bro <laughs> but they don't hear the fact that, that I'm not for the person I'm for the policy of single payer, universal single payer health care in America, college tuition free at city and state universities, delete the, the student debt, d- d- deflate the military industrial complex by reducing the military budget, uh, bring down big pharma, bring down big oil, d- move, trans, trans, uh, transfer into a, a Green New Deal for the American people, get money out of politics. Lock up the bankers. Break the banks up. Like, those are the things that have nothing to do with the human being. Those, those principles and policies were in place. Those ideas were in place as early as, you know, well, going all the way back to the 90s. But most recently, in recent history, was Occupy Wall Street, 2011, 2010, when Obama ran on those precise, uh, you know, points, talking points, and failed to execute them it woke up the you know it, it woke everybody up and that was the that was the, basically the birth of the occupy wall street movement but anyway so i digressed so the dnc currently has 8.5 million dollars as opposed to the rnc's 20.7 million dollars right <laughs> but so so they're going to mexico did i say this i forgot to say it so DNC, Tom Perez, they're in a money crunch. And they're doing, because they can't get votes, because of the reasons I just told you, they're holding fundraisers in Mexico. What? The, the DNC, in September, is holding fundraisers in Mexico. So why are they in Mexico? They're not going to get any votes in Mexico. Oh, yeah, the illegals. They're going to jump over the fence, vote, and jump back over. <laughs> Uh, you guys still believe that shit. That's not how elections are stolen. It's not the illegals voting. It's a very small, small fraction. It's, it's more sinister than that. It's actual rigging of the machines. The machines are antiquated and highly hackable. Uh, so, so DNC is in a bad, bad way, right? They're, they're, they're sucking ass, right? And rightfully so, right? So let them fall, you know, because... Again, they're cheating right now in the primary. It's clear they're rigging. They're they're loading up the field with people that have no chance whatsoever of being president, and they know it. They're they're just clogging up the uh, the airwaves with with anti-Sanders, pro-corporatist Democrat 
shit sandwich Joe Biden, right? So they know we know that they're rigging it, and there doesn't there isn't any sign that they're willing to work with the people, the the mass majority of the people that could could pole vault Sanders and his policies into the White House, and maybe we'll get something done. They're not interested in that. They'd rather lose to Trump. And, and you know, evidence is that they're fundraising in fucking Mexico. Right? Why don't you go to Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan? Why? Because you lied to those people. And you, 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 you fucking, you, you supported Hillary Clinton, the, the, the criminal. They didn't forget you, man. Uh, so it's very revealing. So, so LARP news, oh boy, this fucking LARP shit, right? It gives you a headache, man. Guys are persistent, man, because most of them have a platform. Oh, they, they get the, we expose, who we expose? We expose the, see, the, 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 thing, the thing about it is this. The moral of the story is, stay safe. Okay? Stay safe. What's the motive behind the live action role players, these guys that, pretend to be connected to something else the FBI the CIA because that's the that's the tell in the in the larp in the live action role play when guys start saying that when people say that they're connected to this one that one and the other one and they have some sort of you know s- secret information that they're going to reveal that's usually the sign of a of a charlatan of a of phony right and and then there's the people that want to steal those people's attention. And you know, it's you can look at you can look into the motive, try to understand the heart and mind of the people that uh, that operate in this sphere, right? And they are dangerous. Some of them are are known to us. They have little websites or whatever. They have little video channels or whatever, or you know pretend to be a, a crowdsourcing machine that that is is working with the people to expose the deep state or or you know the the wizard the wizard uh, the the rain man walking around Washington DC with his telephone and his alcohol hand shaking like this he can't even hold the fucking phone anymore the phone the thing is like this everything's moving around like this this is how you watch the video like this because the fucking guy needs a fucking drink <laughs> it's 10 o'clock in the morning right it's just a, it's a, it's an online circus of, of, or the, or the angry brother, the, the angry brother, the jealous brother. What motivates? Who sues everybody? I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna expose you, Conti. I'm exposing you. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, the power of a. The power of a platform. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. See what 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 motivates people to you know, I'm an old hand, so it's it's to me it's it's kind of funny. It's a joke, right? What are you gonna do? Come up my stairs? I smack you with a hammer and you go back down the stairs. <laughs> you know, follow follow me around my park. <laughs> come on, come on in. I invited Fandango. I mean, fucking Defango, whatever his name is. Right? Ah, oh, you got me, Dave. I said Fandango. You fucking jerk off. Right? Defango. I invited Defango into the park. He's afraid of me. Right? Fucking. I don't know. All I did is say, "Meet me in the park by the fountain." He wouldn't meet me. Right? Why? What are you afraid of? What do you think? Conti's in the mafia? What do you think? I'm a fucking gangster. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just a nice guy, man. I've been telling you all along. You think guys? You guys still think I'm attached to the mob in some way, right? Gambinos, right? Hmm. All I could say, man, is that Q shit. You guys, you guys are running around online saying that you, you're Q. I'm telling you, man. You fucking that, that guy killed the mob guy. He killed the Godfather, man. You think those guys are gonna forget? You think those guys forget? No, that's not a threat. I, I'm just telling you the history of the mob. Those guys are not gonna forget. Right? They're, not, they're, they're going to come after those Q guys for the rest of their lives, man. And that's the truth. It's, a, you know, it's incidental. Right? It's just, a, you know, a, ah, one day, you know, you're fucking walking around. You're walking around somewhere. And, you know, you're fucking, and then pow, you know. Leave the gun, take the ganolis. <sighs> so anyway. 
So may the buyer beware. That's what I'm trying to say about the LARP news, right? The guys that are weaponizing lawsuits to attack their their buddies. Oh, what's the motive? That's what I wanted to say. Because what drives people to want to do it? Well, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, there's people people want fame. They want attention. Uh, they want uh, money, right? Fame, attention, money. That's about all of it, right? Love. They're looking for love in all the wrong places. Right? The the iconic. They're they they got this um, Charlie Manson Masonic view of themselves. Ego egotistical maniacs run wild, right? What motivates people to want to be? You know, for me, this is this is incidental. I never wanted to do this shit. I wanted to. I mean, again, I've said it many times. I'd rather stay home. And, and write songs with my cats and play play music on the subway. I was happy doing that for, for a long time. <laughs> right now it's just fucking just politics shit. It's make your head explode. But I'm but, but, but I want to use my my super power, my super powerful meditation mind that I that I acquired after eight years in the cult of Shambhala. I want to help you understand yourself. I want to I want to. I want to cast a black magic spell and get Bernie Sanders elected to the presidency so that the world can be saved from the evildoers. But what is the motivation behind people wanting that, wanting this this kind of attention? Right? Uh, you, you can't. This is not something that you 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 sign up for. It's something that happens, and and that's the way it is. That you accept it. You ride it out like a wave. It doesn't last forever. You just ride the wave. But beware, you know, there are people out there with, with, with motivations that maybe they start out thinking they're doing good. Whistleblower, you know, oh, I'm going to blow a whistle. I mean, for me, the whistleblowing was obvious. I, I, didn't, I didn't set out to do that at all. It's just I, I, I was working in a city municipality as in law enforcement, and I was being asked to break the law, which is you know, exceed the number of tickets one is, you know, supposed to write a ticket quota, right? And I did the math and $600 million in the course of 30 years was stolen from the citizens of New York in illegal ticket writing. And I spoke up about it, you know, not right away, not, not very loudly right away. In fact, I participated in it for a good six to eight months. And then I spoke up and then I was... I was, uh, you know, in the encirclement attacks, the same thing that happens on the web. You're, you're, you're being attacked from every angle, except this is your job, and you have bosses, and you have, the bosses are attacking you. So it's a little different situation. It's very hard to separate yourself in that situation. So you then try to secure the evidence and get out of there in one piece before you end up in the back, you know, in the back of a garbage truck, you know, in Queens somewhere. Right? You, you gotta get you gotta get that shit out there before they get you. <laughs> uh, some serious game, right? That's some real real shit. Not this fucking bullshit, you know, build bullshit online. Oh, you said you fucked this one and that one fucked the other one. <laughs> oh, you said cunt online. You said you know, whatever the fuck these people think about. I don't even know what they're talking about anymore. You the deep the deep conspiracy the heart gun shot the guy in the lung with the heart gun with the microwave weapon. <laughs> that lawsuit, boy, I tell you, man, that Dave Acton lawsuit is the funniest fucking script. You can't write a script like that. That judge, that judge, if you, if you, you know, fucking, if someone could get through Dave Acton's thick skull, he's got the screenplay right there. Right? Not that he could, I don't know if you could copyright a lawsuit because the judge wrote it. But man, is that a fucking movie right there? You cannot... Two idiot, two dumber fools writing a script like that, right? In, in a federal court. Right? It's just brilliant. Right? I mean, it, it entertains me. Right? I know, and they think that they're... Because they think they're so smart. And they find, they find legitimate critique insulting rather than um, uh, elevating. When people insult me and attack me, I'm, I'm elevated by it because I, I, I find it humorous when they're wrong and rather interesting when the criticism is correct. But 
a shallow mind can't see that, can't get, get past that. Right? To realize just how big of a jackass and a fool you are, right? By creating these, these, this, this false, uh, you know, legal proceeding, right? And 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 putting, dumping all of your time and money, and 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 rallying people to the cause, when the whole thing is based on a pile of bullshit, right? What a fucking movie that would make, right? I don't know. Let's get a title for it, man. Somebody title that shit for me, man. Right? <laughs> the fucking what would you title it? What would you title the movie? Right? I don't know, man. I I, I say you know, a pink umbrella fag, and I don't know, man. Anyway, Marcus Conti reporting. And enjoy the rest of this day. <sighs> Hopefully, we'll wake up tomorrow. We'll still be here. You know, the climate won't pop. That right? stock market might pop, but maybe the who knows if the if we'll still be here. You know what I mean? Hello. Who knows? Oh I don't know. Uh, Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>